hey guys welcome back to another hello kitty hunting video i'll be showing you guys all my finds from burlington home goods tj maxx and marshall's so let's get right into the video guys when i was at the woodlands mall the lady said that they were gonna release the hello kitty halloween stuff on thursday and it's currently oh, i see it already it's currently saturday so let's see what they have left hopefully not everything is gone so as soon as I walked in, I instantly saw all the Hello Kitty items and everything was still in stock, you guys, which I was very surprised of. They did have a ton of adorable outfits, you guys. They had matching sweatsuits, hoodies, crop tops, t-shirts. They even had a section for little girls. I was obsessed with all these items. The prices were okay, I guess you could say, but they also had accessories. They had costumes, bags. They had these adorable little Hello Kitty bags, perfect for candy. They also had green bags that were like a cute little tote for every day. It was $6.99 and I loved how it had the characters even on the side. They only did not have Hello Kitty items, but they did have Wednesday. They also had regular Halloween items. And you guys, they even had Sanrio character costumes. They were each $59.99. They had a small medium and a medium large size. They also each came with different accessories and I loved those rhinestone pants, you guys. They were so adorable. They also had shirts for men and I thought they were so cute. I love how they included all the characters. They also had pajamas and here's the little kid section. This shirt was so cute, you guys. I loved how they made all the Sanrio characters into little Frankensteins. And they pretty much had all the shirts that were adults, but just made them into kids. They also had this adorable pajama set. It was only $29.99. And look at the shorts, you guys. They were so adorable. And here's day two of hunting. And first up was Walmart. I did want to see if they had the new Kuromi and Hello Kitty inflatable. However, I did not see it. They had all these characters, Chucky, Michael Myers... Harry Potter. I was looking everywhere and I even tried to see if the barcode was still there. I didn't even see the barcode so I was a little confused. I don't know if I was looking in the wrong area but as I was walking I saw these adorable Hello Kitty posters. They had this one and they also had another one and I was trying to look and see if they had any left but unfortunately they didn't. I was pretty upset. I was sad. I was trying to see if they had any more but that was it. But I also saw that they were getting a pumpkin spice t-shirt. I did not find that one, but I did find this one. It was the last one, and it was only $5.98. Then I headed to Marshalls and Home Goods, and of course I was looking for the new Hello Kitty blankets. I know they are going to Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but I just wanted to check Home Goods just in case. I went to the fall section, nothing, the regular section, nothing. They did have a few cute fall ones, and they had a ton of pillows, but nothing really that I was looking for. But then I saw that someone left this cute little Hello Kitty cotton pad container, and I went to the purses, and whoever was working this day did an awesome job on organizing. And then I saw these adorable hello kitty backpacks it was made out of faux leather and they were each $19.99 they were a perfect medium size they also had this pink mirror by impressions vanity and then i went to burlington after home goods and i was looking for the new frankenstein and kitty hello kitty shirts but it looks like this burlington is kind of slow but they had a ton of shirts that I have already seen here. If you guys have made it this far into my video, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like down below. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post. After looking at the t-shirts, I noticed that they had a few tanks out still. So I was like, let me just check just to make sure. And sure enough, look at this Bratz water bottle, you guys so freaking cute then i looked to the right and they even had these new hello kitty ones they were only $7.99 they had this beach one with the little mermaid they also had this one with the ice cream and they had the first one with like the cupcakes and the milk i wanted to see if there was any more designs but that was it and as i turned the corner i saw someone left this hello kitty jersey and it was only $10.99 and I also found these cute little hamburger socks. They were only $3.99 for little girls. 
each of them had like a little snack on them and then i also saw that they had these blankets here and i was like let me just check just to make sure there's no new hello kitty ones because that's how i found the pink one i wanted to check the sheets and everything then i headed to the backpacks and look you guys they had this adorable hello kitty backpack it was only 6.99 they also had more of these hello kitty jerseys you guys i was like oh my gosh they had like a beautiful peach color hot pink they even had Tiffany. They also had like these jerseys. They were so cute. I wish they made them in adult size, but they only had little girls. Here you'll see the Tiffany one that I was talking about. Ugh, it was so cute. And here's all of them laid out. And here's day number three of hunting. And first stop was Home Goods. And you guys, look what I found. I found the pirate baking dish. It was only $9.99. And I also found the ramkin bowls. They were so cute. Also $9.99. And it came with a set of four. And I love how it said Happy Halloween on the inside. It was so cute. On the ramkin bowls, it had her in the skeleton and a witch, a ghost, a pumpkin a little i think it was a little devil it was so cute they also had a ton of hello kitty mugs you guys but i feel like we've seen all of these already pretty much my favorite one of the bunch was probably this one it was only 5.99 I wanted to check the Halloween aisle just to make sure I didn't miss anything and they had these adorable Mickey Mouse pumpkin mugs but I don't think I did I was trying to see if they had any more of the Hello Kitty baking dishes but I didn't see any but they had that cute stitch mug and Wednesday mug they still had a lot of Ray Dunn left. They also had more stuff on the other side. And as soon as I turned, I spotted this gorgeous pink blanket, you guys. It was so cute. It was the perfect shade of pink. And fun fact, you guys, I went again the next day or a few days after and all of those pink blankets were gone. And I also saw that they had this adorable Hello Kitty mug and this ramen bowl with a little strawberry milk on it. And here's more of these mugs that we've seen already. They also had this hand mask. I thought the packaging was so cute. And they also had this Barbie palette by Glamlight. There's the little shades in the back and it was only $19.99. They also had these mirrors. They had a ton. It looks like they had just put them out. They had one with a little stand and they also had a ton of these little travel ones and the one that you hold. And you guys, look what I saw. They had just put out these makeup bags. And you guys, I know those Hello Kitty makeup cases are so hard to get. I know each store only gets two. And I remember trying to find it in TG Maxx and it was so hard to get. I literally found one while she was pulling out the cart. But they also had that pink one. And they also had these mirrors. Then I went to like the facial serums and I saw that they had this strawberry glaze serum by Truly. Let me know if this works good or if it smells good. Then I saw on this tank that they had put out this cleanser and this moisturizer. I've seen these at Walmart and you guys, they go for like 20 plus dollars and here they were only $6.99 and $7.99 so I grabbed both. And they also had this adorable Betsy Johnson duffel bag. They also had this wallet. They also had a solid black one. They were both so cute. And I love how big they are. So you can fit a lot of cards in there. And coming up was day number four of hunting. And first up was Dick's. I wanted to see if they had the new hot pink Stanley tumblers. And look, you guys, they had the hot pink ombre. I was so happy to see it in person. The pink is so gorgeous, you guys, but I was really looking for the solid pink 30 ounce and look how pretty I was like, mm. but I did not see the 40 ounce. Unfortunately, I wanted to grab it for my friend, but I didn't see it, but they had this giant 60 ounce. I was like, oh my gosh. And then after Dick's, I headed to Home Goods and Marshall's because it was right across the street. When I tell you guys, this location is so busy during the day. If you're in Houston, this is the Woodlands location. And uh, I went like at 12-1. 
and oh my gosh literally took me 15 minutes to park but the only thing that i saw was this hello kitty mug i feel like we've seen this before i feel like there's another style with the same type of like handle and they also had the jack but that was pretty much all i saw they had another one of the hello kitty mugs i wanted to see if they had the halloween hello kitty baking dishes here but i did not see them unfortunately the only thing that they had were these cute little ghost salt and pepper shakers they were so cute and then these pumpkin measuring cups and you guys look how adorable these little snowmen were it was definitely giving pastel candyland vibes they were so cute they also had these mirrors like the other location and then i ended up finding another cleanser and moisturizer for a friend then i also saw that they had some mirrors also they had the one that you hold the one with the stand the one with the lights they had all of them here and then i went to the makeup bags and then i saw that they had these pink ones and they also had one of the pink and leopard one but as i was looking around i was looking for the new leopard one the clear one i feel like that one would be perfect for travel but look you guys as soon as i turned away from the pink one someone was already looking at it but then I went to the nails and they had these cute little nail decals. They also had these press on nails. I feel like we've all seen this already. Then after Home Goods, I went to Burlington and I wanted to see if they had this new Hello Kitty Frankenstein shirt. I went straight to the back. I wanted to see what was on these carts. I wanted to see if they had any new Hello Kitty. But the only cute thing that I saw was that string wheel cover and they also had these pink Tupperware. And each bowl was a different shade of pink, which I thought was really cute. And then I headed to the next tank. Didn't see anything on this one. Then I headed to the mugs. And still nothing, unfortunately. But I did want to just double check and make sure. But look at this baby pink string roll cover, you guys. It was so adorable. It was only $6.99 then i headed to the blankets i wanted to see if they had put anything out but it was mostly solid colors and of course i had to check the kids section i thought this butterfly blanket was so adorable it was like baby pink with hot pink butterflies and they also had these cute little pretzel blankets and a few betsy johnson ones as well Right, you guys were at tj because they saw there's a new gray hello kitty blanket it was just posted like two days ago but this tj maxx is a little slow but let's see what they had but as soon as i walked in i went straight to the bags because i saw that there's a new hello kitty duffel bag there's a red one a black one and a pink one and they're so cute but i did not see them unfortunately guys i have the hello kitty brushes here 16.99 Oh my gosh, so cute. That dog was so cute, you guys. But I went to the blankets. I was looking for the new gray one. And like I said, this TJ Maxx is so slow and they always leave freaking carts out. Look, you guys, look at all these carts that they always leave out. Like, this is so foul. Like, I don't get it. And I'm just like, imagine the freaking blanket is at the very bottom. Like, what do I look like trying to dig through that thing? Then I went to the mugs and i did not see anything that i really wanted but i did see that they had these cute hello kitty lotions they had one that was strawberry and peach they have the furry pink purse i wonder if i can go on the other side and grab it but they might tell me something they also have a revelin i ended up getting the furry purse you guys and here's day number five of hunting and first up was burlington all right you guys let's see if they have the shirts I'm looking for the Halloween one. <gasps> they have it. Oh, this one has a mark. Let's see if they have it in a different size. <gasps> oh my gosh. Only $7.99. Yes. They have it in the black too. So I was looking in the um kid section shoes and look what i found they're hello kitty adidas 
size six for little girls. They're only $23. They're so cute. I went to the mugs and I only saw two Hello Kitty mugs. But that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below.